places. Try it. Take a bite out of the legs. Oh my god, I can't believe this! What up, Busta fam? If you guys are new here, I'm Yeezy Busta. If you guys have been around, I appreciate you. Wow, it's been a minute since I've said that intro, but hey, today's a new day, right? There's this thing that's been floating around the sneaker community for about a year or so now, and it just kind of resurfaced. And I realized that I haven't really said anything about it. I never really posted anything about it, and I thought it was kind of funny, so I decided that maybe right now is the right time for me to talk about it. Basically, it's a video from Jimmy Kimmel's show about a year and a half ago. He basically set up a Yeezy stand in downtown LA, and he asked people to come up and review the newest design by Kanye West and the newest Yeezy shoe, AKA the Yeezy 2000. Jimmy brought these really ugly looking shoes to see if people actually really like them just because of their design or if people just like them because of the word Yeezy. Now I know in the sneaker community, that's kind of something that's debated. Like do people actually like Yeezys or do they only like them for the hype or do they only like them because Kanye's name is behind them? I'm gonna let you guys decide what you guys think about that question. Like do you guys think Yeezys are worth it? Do you guys think that Yeezys are cool because they're cool or do you guys like them because they're hype? Answer that question down below and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hmm, and since we're bringing back an old intro, maybe I should reintroduce something. You guys already know what to do. Anyway, guys, without further ado, if you guys haven't liked the video yet, hit that like button down below. Let's get to 17 trillion likes. Kanye West dropped a new pair of Yeezys over the weekend. Drop means, uh, you know what it means. <laughs> the Yeezy Boost 750 Chocolate, which sounds like a protein shake, but it's not. It's a very expensive pair of shoes. They cost $350, and that's retail. I saw a pair on eBay today for $1,200. Which is a lot, but that's for two sneakers, so it's really only $600. Anyway, we decided to do something sneaky with the new Yeezy. We went to a store in Chinatown here in LA. We bought a pair of shoes. There was a special two pairs for $25, so $12.50 a pair. When we added a compass to the shoe, we glued on some fake fur. So now we're looking at about $14 a pair. And then we took that cheap pair of sneakers out on the Hollywood Boulevard and told people they were the new Yeezys. And these are very real opinions of uh, very fake easy shoes. Okay, so I think it's really funny how they actually didn't go buy fake Yeezys. They bought some random shoe in Chinatown and they glued a compass and they put four on it. That's actually really funny. Now, these are fake Yeezys. So do I have to bust Jimmy Kimmel? Hmm. Pretty funny intro. Jimmy Kimmel's a funny guy, obviously. Back then, the chocolates were going for about 1,200. I don't know how much they're going for right now, but wow, this is a while ago. I do miss 700s. Do you guys miss 700s? Cause I do. Let's continue watching. You are a Kanye West fan? Yes. And are you a fan of Yeezys, the Yeezy brand? Yes. Okay, cool. Here's the shoe. What do you love about this shoe? I love it. It's yeah. cool. It's different, attractive. Um, I like the furry hair on it. Okay, so the first two girls definitely had, I don't know, from their expressions, it kind of seemed like they were trying to find reasons on why to like it. Because let's be honest, this is a really ugly sneaker. The first girl was like, well, I like it. And then the second girl was trying to kind of explain why it's cool because of the fur and stuff. First and foremost, we know that Kanye and Adidas would never come out with a shoe that looks like that, but it is extremely ugly and if Kanye ever did release a shoe like that, I pray for you guys. And I also pray for myself because I know I will also fall victim to it. <laughs> but I'm not a hype beast though. Uh, yeah. Are you an Yeezy fan? Yes, I am a big fan. As you can see, I'm wearing one of those. You're wearing uh, Yeezys? Oh yeah, look at those. <laughs> That's nice actually, no. Bruh! Bruh! What are those? Wow. You know that you're going on live TV and you're wearing probably the fakest Yeezys I've ever seen in my entire life. Can we play that back? As you can see, I'm wearing one of those. You're wearing- And you try to tell people that they're real? I really have no words for you, man. That was, that was, that was pretty bad. <laughs> ah, wow. Does this guy have an Instagram account? Do we have to bust him? Hmm. Uh, this is, it is kind of like, you know, different. And that's, yeah, I would, I would say it's really nice. Judging by his response, I don't know if he liked it for the meme, if he was trying to make a joke out of it, or if he was being serious. It kind of seems like we're getting a pretty similar trend as we keep going. Is it a compass? It's a compass. That's you know crazy. Why? What's why? Kanye's daughter's name? North. 
Northwest. Yeah, right? that's so cool. Isn't that cool. I like that a lot. I'm not gonna lie, the producers of this show did a really, really good job. They really compared the compass to Northwest, which is Kanye's kid, and <laughs> props, props. You guys get three claps for that. That was four. My, minus one clap. Yeah, these. It's like you got the compass right here, so you, so you just, you hear me? You letting them know where you walking at. I don't see you coming at all. We got <sighs> the compass, you got the fur, you... I feel like I would be able to jump higher in these. That fur is cloned from Kim Kardashian hair. Oh wow, it kind of do feel like some hair. Yeah, it's clean, it's clean. <laughs> okay, 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 wait, 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 pause. I think they just took the meme one step too far. <laughs> they said the fur is supposed to be Kim Kardashian's hair. Now Kanye is known for some pretty outlandish and different designs, but I think that if I heard that on the street and I didn't know anything about sneakers, that would be the one that kind of crossed the line for me. I'd be like, okay, this equals meme. The suede was specifically designed- Wait, hold on. Does that girl's hat say take out and chill? I think it does. It does. It does say take out and chill. I mean, that actually kind of sounds great, you know? <laughs> Hit my line. To feel like Kim's backside. That's what her butt feels like? Yeah. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Take it back. I, I, I take my take out and chill invitation back. No thank you. If you push the compass in, look at how the shoe kind of adjusts size to become a little bit smaller. I feel it. Feel it? Yeah. yeah. So it adjusts? It's, it's called Yeezy Squeezy Technology. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. That's badass. Stop. Didn't, didn't you stop on a dime? Yeah, you can't stop on a dime, yeah. What was that? Guys, the placebo effect is a real thing. That girl said that she felt the shoe getting smaller when that actual compass was just getting pushed deeper into the shoe. Come on. It's LA. They're edible laces. Try, try, take a bite out of the lace. I think this might be the first guy that says, you know what, forget it. I don't believe you, this is some bullshit. But so far this video has been full of surprises. So let's see what he does. What does it taste like? It, it tastes really good. It tastes really good. I never know you can eat shoes laces, but I finally did it. For each pair of these shoes sold, Kanye will plant a tree in Israel. Oh, I love Israel. Shout out to Israel. That's great. That's crazy. Guess how much they actually cost? Retail, probably like four to five hundred. I would think a thousand. Seven, eight hundred dollars. I know it might be more. So they definitely don't look like they're two for $25. No, definitely not. Definitely not. hundred percent not. I love you, Kanye. I love your shoes. Keep planting trees in Israel. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe this. I really don't know what to think right now, guys. Are we all just like these people? If Kanye told us to eat his laces, would we? Guys, I really don't know what to think of this video. I'm kind of disappointed. It was pretty hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. And maybe I feel like I would be put in these people's shoes if I didn't know anything about sneakers. Or if they were able to fool me and make it seem like they were authentic and Kanye actually was gonna put something like that out within the near future. Much like with this sneaker, the 700, or much like this sneaker, the 500, maybe I would have been like, hmm, maybe they'll grow on me someday. <laughs> Guys, the secret word is Yeezy Tacos. Comment it down below and let me know exactly what you guys would have said if you guys came across this thing on a street and somebody was interviewing everyone, what would you guys have said? And be honest, be honest. Don't be like, yeah, I would have immediately known that it wasn't a real thing. Just, just, Instead, let's pretend like there was an official Yeezy booth and they brought the shoe. What would you guys have said? What would you guys name this sneaker? I'm really curious to see what you guys think. And I really hope you guys liked today's video. If you guys haven't liked the video yet, make sure you hit that like button down below. Come on guys, 17 trillion likes, let's get it. If you guys have gotten this far, I appreciate you guys. You guys are the real Busta fam. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm back, I'm gonna be posting much more regularly now. I can't wait to give you guys more content. I appreciate you guys and Busta fam out, boy. Food again. I
see the blue food again. No dead presidents. You bought me like Ken. Food food again. I see you food food again. No dead presidents.